Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. I'm just here to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe consider leaving a comment on what you liked or disliked about the video. And I hope you enjoyed the content. I'll see you later. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. This time I'm gonna be doing an account review for Chairman Now. For those of you who watched my Agilane videos, he was one of the top ranked players in Agilane for uh, Fleet Power Gaming and all that stuff. And now we are here on his Honkai Star Rail account. And we are going to be looking at what we have here. This is his main account. He has two accounts. He has a whale account and a free to play account. Today we're gonna to be looking at his, uh, his whale account. So his main account, which I am no, because I've used to, he's on my friends list, obviously. I know he has a few C6 characters. So, where are we going to start? Let's start. Let's go ahead and just start right here on the main the main screen. So, his profile. Trailblazer profile. Serval Supremacy Birthday 1-1. Wait, really? Are you actually born on 1-1 now? Like, is that your actual birthday or you just put that in because funny? Yes? Damn. Born on the new year. Cool. Alright, so we have Akron, Jingliu, Serval, Sila, Fushuan, Black Black Swan, uh, Bronya, and Ron May. Serval Supremacy. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Um, have you gotten every Let's we'll see you've gotten every battle pass? Let's come about. Cool. Let's go ahead and check his. Let's see where's the data bank? There's the data bank. Let's go to the data bank. Let's look at his characters. He's got 45 of 47 characters. Almost all the characters in the game. Who are you missing? I'm curious now. I guess we'll find out. We have all of the destruction characters, all of the hunt characters, all the erudition characters except Argenti. Shame, poor Argenti. Poor Knight of Beauty. All of our harmony characters. You guys, remember when there was just two? Do you guys remember when there was, oh, not two, there was three. There were only two four star ones. There was Bronya, Asta, and Tingyan. That was it. Now we're up to six. Seven. Seven? Seven. Crazy. Nihility. All the Nihility characters. Ix. Ix is the best. We all know this. Everybody knows that Ix is the best. Uh, he is the best waifus. And then we have now Japar. You all the preservation characters. All the preservation characters, and we have. All the abundance characters except Hua Hua. So the two characters you are missing are Hua Hua and Argenti. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds real good. Two light cones. Oh, you have almost all the light cones as well. 91 of 96 light cones. Holy crap. Okay. Let's see which ones you don't have. You don't have Topaz light cone. Okay. And you don't have Argenti's Light Cone. You don't have the Day of the Cosmos Fell. And uh, let's see. And Abundance. And you don't have Hohoa's Light Cone. Okay. Is there a reason you did not get Topaz her signature Light Cone? Because I know you had her. Did you just not want it? Did you not need it? Just not a fan of follow-up attack characters? Well, you're missing out, buddy. Not a fan of follow-up attack characters, but you have all the follow-up attack characters. And another follow-up attack like home. I don't know. Seems uh Seems kind of sus to me. Seems like a sus excuse to me. 
Well, ratio was free, so okay. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, let's look and see which characters you have built. Usually when I do these, uh, do you have all your team set up? No, you do not. I'm going to replace this with you. You chose Stell. Oops. Let's go ahead and take a look at what characters you have built. Looks like you actually built Blazer. Probably for your Acheron team, I would imagine. Yep. Blazer for Acheron. Cool. Very nice. Have you? You have been playing since day one. Cool. That's a, that's a good stat line, by the way. It's a real good stat line. 138 speed. Three, almost 4,000, almost 4K defense, over 4K HP. These are going to break effect too. A little low on the effect hit rate, but not bad. Let's look at Bailu. Bailu missing some gear, but she is leveled. Leveled Light Cone. Nice traces. God damn. Bailu abandoned. Yep. Bailu abandoned. Wow. All the way up to E4. Bailu abandoned. Poor, poor little dragon girl. Bailu is awesome, but that's unfortunate. We got Locha. 4k HP. 1000 defense on the dot nearly. 3k attack. 147 speed. Maxed out Lycone. S1. Traces, good. Relics, good. E3? E3? E3, Locho? What is this guy? What is this man's? Holy shit. What is, I know what his E1 does. Field active attack of all allies increases by 20%. Uh, bestow uh, from the pure E2. I wanted E2, but I got extra. Did you get like a back to back or something? Damn. You got two and one pull. When this skill is triggered, if the target ally's HP is lower than 50%, Locha's outgoing healing increases by 30%. If the target ally HP is 30% or higher, the ally receives a shield that can absorb damage equal to 18% of Locha's attack plus 240, lasting for two turns. Damn. A shield. Uh, now is suffering from success because I know I pulled for his sparkle and we got a bat we got a double for his sparkle as well. So that's not the first time on his account that's happened. This is like a thing. Alright, adventuring. Holy shit. What is this defense? 5,600 defense on the dot? You only need 43. You're like, you have like, for the max, for the, so for those who don't know, for the max amount of crit rate from his passive, you need, you need roughly 4,300, uh, 4,300 defense. If I remember correctly. Damn. Damn, that is a lot of, I had a lot. It's only S. I was for a second there. I was thinking his light cone was like S five or some shit. Holy shit! Maxed maxed traces doesn't like. Remember by the way, guys. Now doesn't like follow up attackers. Now doesn't like follow up attackers. Never forget that. Let's see. Defense, speed, massive defense and speed. Defense. Defense, no speed boots. Okay. Running, running slow, slow, slow terrain. Damn. Didn't give a shit about anything. Anything else, just straight defense. Damn, he's got to be stacked. And yet still got up to 124 speed. And for those who don't know, generally speaking, you want at least like a minimum of like 121 in general. So you don't get like lapped all the time. Um, and then it's 134 for like MOC, like fast clears and stuff. 
Eidolons? Zero. I'm surprised. I usually run him with Akron, so I don't need damage. Fair enough. Fair enough? Nope, that makes sense. That makes sense. Fushuan. That's that's a little bit of a low HP. I was I was I'll be honest, that's a little low. I was expecting I was expecting like way more HP. I was expecting way more HP. But you are running trend. Okay, HP damage reduction, yep. E2. Same member is struck by a killing blow while Matrix Presence is active. Then all allies who were struck by a killing blow during this action will not be knocked down. And 70% of their max HP immediately restored. This effect can trigger one time for about Oh, yeah, the Bailu effect. Yes. Wow. Very good. Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Where was I? Huh? All right, we were just finished listening. Uh, we just finished looking at um, Akron. I apologize, by the way, if I'm slurring now. I had to put some. As I've been sitting here recording this, all of a sudden I noticed that my mouth was feeling weird. I think I may have an infected tooth. I'm not entirely sure, but I can feel kind of a swelling. And then I found out where it is. I'm pretty sure I may have one. I'm not entirely sure. But I went ahead and put some aura gel and stuff on there. So if I slur a little bit, it's because my mouth's a little numb at the moment. But I'm determined to finish this. So we're going to finish this. Anyways, moving on. On to Acheron. Let's look at this. Acheron, 61. 4,000 attack. Under 3k HP. But you probably kill things so fast it doesn't matter. 61 crit rate, 275 crit damage, with a S5 light cone. Max traces, we can already see that it's E6. Full set, E6. I told you we'd be looking at a Giga Whale. We're looking at a Giga Whale. What is her E6? What does her E6 do? Okay. Increases the all type res pen for the ult for the ultimate damage dealt by Akron by 20%. The damage dealt by basic attack and skill will also be considered as ultimate damage. And can reduce enemy toughness regardless of weakness type. When breaking weaknesses, triggers the lightning weakness break effect. Yeah, this is why a Ventry doesn't need damage. True. True. This is why a Ventry does not need damage. When you can literally use Acheron to destroy the entire game. Literally just the entire game. Her E6 is just you in the game. Yeah, it's, stri it's straight up. It's, it's, you got 28, 20%, another 8% here, plus all the damage you get from your passive. Yeah, her ult is literally delete. Delete the game. So there is something to be said. So in, this happened in Genshin, right? There's something to be said for certain characters, E6, being so powerful that if you actually go for it and get it, you need no other characters. <laughs> Now pulls for vanity. Does not pull for for ne like needing a character to complete anything. Cause E6, Acheron, you just this will all always clear one side. Like doesn't matter what that side is, but because she always breaks, she will always clear at least one side of, of like whatever in game content there is. Absolutely insane. Can she solo? I don't. I imagine not. She'd probably die. Uh, before she has no defense and has under 3k HP, she'd probably get one shot to be honest. Like a boss, a boss with even like one other mob will probably one shot her before she can stack up um, her ultimate because nothing, 
She gets extra stacks from her E2, technically. But... And she'd probably get a stack from this. But... No. I don't think so. But these stats are insane. 61 crit rate, 275 crit damage, and that's before... That's before the effects of this. Right? So that's another 12% crit rate. So that gets her to... 73 and then her Eidolon 2 is our 18 so that's 83 plus 8 is 90 91 she's a 91 crit rate 91 crit rate with 275 crit damage I gotta see these relics we gotta see these relics we gotta see these relics look at these relics Let's see, attack percent, crit rate, crit damage. Super good. Attack percent, crit rate, crit damage. So super good. What is this? This is 16. Uh, uh, we 20, 26 with 7. 33? 33 crit value? Right? No. Yeah, 33 crit value. 34 crit value. Months of max refresh. Yep. Crit damage with attack percent crit rate. What are the rolls on this? Three rolls and a crit rate, one effect hit rate roll. You wish this was on attack percent, but otherwise, this is so good. Wow. That's so good. What were the rolls on this? Yeah. Four line start. Um, this was a three line start, rolled break effect twice. Okay. Then attack percent boots with 14 crit rate. Holy shit, that has, it has a 31. This has a 31 crit value. Just it has a 28 crit value just from the crit rate alone. 29 crit value, actually. 29 crit value plus five is a 34 crit value. It rolled. It was a five. It was a four line start and four rolled crit rate. Holy shit. These stats, these stats are, like, these pieces, these pieces are, like, insane. All right, let's look at this orb. Uh, attack percent orb. That makes sense. She gets a lot of damage percent, so you run an attack percent. I need to run an attack percent orb on mine. I keep forgetting to change. Change mine to attack percent. This is, this was a three-line start. And... Has a near 30 crit value on her orb. And then this is another 30 crit value piece. So every single one of these pieces is 30 crit value or higher. Every piece is double crit line. Every piece is rolled like at least three rolls into a crit. Into a crit. Four. Three, four, three, three. Yeah. So you had three. You had two fours and and four threes. Is Akron not only is the Akron E six? She's also cracked E six. Right. Best relics you could possibly have. Over. Oh, God damn. Oh damn. Very impressive. Very impressive. Especially with the S5. Honestly, the S5 is what really brings that crit damage up, right? That's 60% of this crit damage is just from the light cone. Right? Just from the light cone. She has an additional 40% damage to flick with Mirage Fizzle. Download with all the additional anchors before. So it's 80% damage. Yeah, no wonder you're running attack percent. That makes sense. It matters also with her S1 too. Shit. Alright, Black Swan. Is this my black swan? This is like I'm I'm serious? Like legit stat for stat looks exactly like my black swan. <laughs> Even the effect hit rate. Discard your worthless. It's a little low. That's a little low. I was expecting more. Your dot teams are serviceable? Okay. That looks good. 
Okay. No Eidolons. Okay. Silver Wolf. Good effect hit rate. No break effect. Interesting. Max Traces. E6. E6. Kind of abandoned. This guy is sitting here with an E6 Silver Wolf with Quantum Set and Von Wack. Max Traces. Max, max Free to Play Light Cone. And he's like, nothing crazy. Just abandoned. Damn. Kafka. Oh, this is a sad Kafka. That is so little speed. Too much effect hit rate. S5 light cone? Oh, God. E6. You know what? I, I can honestly say that my Kafka is better than this Kafka. And my Kafka is E4. But I will make her E6 one day. And I can honestly say my Kafka is better. And I'm okay with this. Like this Kafka probably does more damage. But that's because she's E6. And has an S5 light cone. But general stats. It's better. <laughs> I'm going to take that and keep on going. <laughs> Alright, let's look at Welt. That's a, that's a, that is a fast Welt. This is a speedy boy. This is a speedy boy. Snap. Max. Bro. Bro. Literally a speedy boy. Wow. His E6 is just, eh, it hits one more time. It hits one more time. It's still good, but it's just one more time. Actually, go back real quick. What is Bronia's E6? For every debuff the target enemy has, the damage dealt by Silver Wolf increases by 20% up to 11 to 100%. Okay. And then I already know what Kafka's is. It increases her multiplier by 156%. This three four attackers damage with water. Yeah. Yes, it was. My God, what a what a welt sustain welt. Gotcha. Sparkle. Oh, I remember this sparkle. Also one sixty one speed on the dot. Two hundred and thirty eight crit damage. S. Did you pull for more of her light cone? You didn't stop pulling? What do you... Bro, where was my content? Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my god, he didn't stop pulling. So there's a video on my channel of me pulling... Uh, S two uh E two sparkle for him. Holy shit! He didn't stop. He didn't stop. Black uh Black Rose, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Movement Shakers. Hope you're having a good day. Holy shit! Damn.
Holy shit, she now gives everybody her crit damage buff. That's that's nuts. That's insane. That's actually insane. Her E6 is so that's that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, Ron May. The speed of Ron May. I mean, is there even a need to properly build units with as many E6s? Yes. E6 alone will not will not get you clears. If your characters are like, if you took all the relics off the characters, they would still be okay, but they would probably die. Unfortunately, there is no dodge mechanic in this game, like there is in Genshin, so you can't really make up for that with just by having like good dodging skills. Finally, a normal one. No, I mean like giving them this gear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if you took if you took all their the best in slot gear off them that he has on them, they would not be as good. And you probably still wouldn't be able to clear content because they would die. Baronia. Kind of abandoned, I imagine. S5 of her light cone. E3. Jing Yuan abandoned. Absolutely abandoned. Look at it. Look at this King Yuan. Just abandoned, left behind. Running speed is sort of in sync with Jing Liu. Ah, okay. Abandoned and left behind King Yuan. No Eidolons, no nothing. Using Himiko's Lycone. Himiko. Shit ton of crit damage. Max traces, E5 or E6, one of the two. E6, okay. Damn. Sila. Traces. Relics. Eidolons. E6. Daniel. White Cone. Traces. Relic. No Eidolons. It's so funny. I wish you had E6. I wish you had E6. Uh, Dill, so that I could, uh, and him built, so I could compare him and E6 Akron myself to see exactly who is better. I'm pretty sure Akron wins at the moment, but there's a good chance Dill could still out 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 punch her. Absolutely crazy. Jing Liu. Now I've used his Jing Liu before. She packs quite the punch. She is E6. Honestly, of like all the characters on like the game to E6, I honestly think that that Akron, Daniel, and Jing Liu's are like from a damage dealing standpoint. I think E6 and damage dealers is better than E6 and supports, by the way. Um, at least def defensive support. So like adventuring and stuff like that. You don't really need it. You know, Fushuan, you don't, you know, you don't really need it either. But like, you don't need the DPS ones. But like maxing out Sparkle is honestly a bad thing because it does make your DPS like just that much better. Blade. Good old Blade. Remember guys, Blade is bad now and needs a buff. Never forget that. That's a thing. S5, no Eidolons. Okay, cool. Clara! Clara is built. Hell yeah. Clara Supremacy. Traces. Relics. Eidolons. Oof. Does Clara's counter mark count as a debuff? Does the mark of counter count as a debuff? Because that would make sense for this set then, because then she can trigger the whole thing. Maxed out Lynx. Maxed out Glen Ifen. Sila. 
Sampo. Okay. Pella. Yeah, if you don't have E6 of every four star, I'll be shocked. Abandoned Hanya. Ting Yun. Why do you have memories of the past? Huh. Okay. E6, yep. Rainbow. Abandoned. Serve all supremacy. All right. Serve all supremacy. Here we go. Low on the HP. Low on the attack. Traces aren't maxed. Relics are pretty damn good, actually. Holy. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What the f What are these relics? Why are they so good? What the fuck? Not gonna get HP attack high on four star. Fair enough. My God. This is like easily the best serve all ever. 63 crit rate, 192 crit damage with the genius repose, which makes sense. Attack percent crit damage. Yeah. 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 Survival Supremacy indeed. No, this is good. Natasha. Oh, we get to the characters that are not currently active and leveled. Cool. 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 Damn. And then everybody else a bit. Topaz? Topaz? Top I don't like fall I don't like follow-up attackers. So didn't got Topaz, didn't level her up, didn't get her light cone. Has ratio, has his light cone, didn't level him up, but has adventuring, leveled up. Has Clara, leveled up. Has Blade, leveled up. Has Himiko, leveled up. Has Jing Yuan, leveled up, though he doesn't use him. All these follow up attackers just. Man, such a shame. Such a shame. And then Misha, just sitting down here all alone. Poor Misha. Poor Misha, the unsung character of. Patch 2.0. Misha, the unsung destruction ice character of Patch 2.0. Nobody talks about Misha. Nobody cares about Misha. Poor Misha just left completely behind. Want to know why? Because he's an ice destruction character. And this character exists. When you have a character... When you have a character like this... And then you release this... This is what happens. Yeah, Misha is Arlan 2.0, another destruction character. And guess what? Hook? Hook's about to go to the wayside too, because Firefly is coming out. All these four star destruction characters just left left behind to get the new shiny five stars. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Alright, well that's all of your characters and their Freaking cracked relics. Absolutely cracked relics. Holy crap. All right. All right. All right. All right. What else do we need to look at here? Um, the only thing we look at here, let's go ahead and look at your, your pure fiction clears real quick. Let's see. Quick clear. 80, 80K, 80K. I didn't save the teams, whatever they were. At least not on this. Well, because it's on my computer instead of yours, obviously. So I'll have to look in the actual thing. What teams you used. It'll show it right here. Okay. Follow-up attack team. Kind of, sort of. Akron team. Because, well, why not? Forgotten Hall. All maxed out. Pure Fiction Hall. Damn. Damn. All right, I gotta, I gotta run. I gotta, I gotta play. I gotta play with this just a little bit real quick. Okay, I gotta, I gotta see what this is, how this ex, how how this works. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's do a, let's do a Fushuan. No, 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 no. You have Blazer leveled up, right? Let's do a Blazer into 
a Acheron, into a Sparkle, into Ronme. We need one Nihility, so let's do, uh, where is Pella? Pella. Pella, Adventuring, Sparkle, Acheron is a team? Why would that be a team? I mean, I get it because he has the debuff from his ults, but uh, Blazer with this can put more debuffs out than any other preservation character with Sparkle or with Akron. And then. Let's see, this is ice on this side, fuck it. Let's see what happens. You said they're speeding together, so let's do that. And we'll just, we'll just hyper-carry, let's we'll do hyper-carry. Let's see what happens. There we go. We'll do, we'll do hyper-carry over there. Hyper-carry Jing Liu and hyper-carry Acheron. You guys are ready? You guys ready for this? This is about to, this is about to be insane. This is about to be absolutely freaking disgusting. Use it up. Enemy data secure. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Feeling There's the ultimate. I weep for the departed. You guys ready? We have everything but but Sparkle's ult, so. It too shall fall. One million damage. I could let it auto, but that's no fun. For 142k off the skill, okay. Alright, now we're gonna have Sparkle effect. Yeah, I know the dino doesn't take the damage. Unfortunately, Stell's a little slow, so she didn't get a chance to taunt before they all got a turn. Which is unfortunate. But, this will still add a debuff, so it's okay. Enemy targets detected. So we'll do this. Enemy and defense down. Time for good old counter attack. And then we'll do Sparkle's buff again. Alright, here we go. 249. 500k. 1.3 million. Cool. Zero cycles. Cool. 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 See how this goes. Pretty effortless, yes. Effortless when your character can literally weakness break and do a million damage in one every turn. Like, basically... With that team, you can do a million damage every turn. Like, honestly, you don't even really... I didn't even really need the Blazer in this team because of the way that... Because of the way that that team worked, I probably could have just ran, like... Honestly, like, Black Swan or another character that reduced defense and um, and just gone from there to stack it even faster. But it doesn't really... It just really doesn't, just doesn't matter, right? This is This account is in a state... Where no matter what you do, you're going to be effective at at it, right? That was actually a miss. miss, miss Lend me your strength. Ready for death. Absolutely insane. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. This should also be effortless, but we'll see. Because Eastix Jing Liu has four of these, which is incredibly, which is crazy. Oh, 
So the boss related cheats this account will never have issues clearing anything like ever. Yeah, I mean that's kind of that's the benefit of getting an E6 um, is that you're more than likely never going to struggle ever again on the team on uh, on any uh, on any at any point when you have that E6 character. Now you can still like fuck it up, and there are definitely mechanics that can screw you over. All will be revealed. But it is far less likely in these scenarios. Honestly, I probably should have just brought Ting in, actually, to keep the energy the energy flow going, honestly. Probably would have been a better move. Four hundred twenty-one k Cool. Ron May rolling a six. Let's go. That's nah, all good. Damn, who's on getting hurt? This was not an effortless, effortless, uh, effortless one. Which I guess just shows you the power, the power differential between a E6 uh, well-built Jing Liu and an E6 well-built uh, Akron, right? Still a one cycle, just not a zero cycle. Absolutely crazy. That's 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 insane. That's absolutely crazy. But yeah, this could even be done even better. Honestly, you don't even you don't even need this at that point. At that point, maybe a venturing is better in the context that um, uh, it give increases the ultimate damage, right? Like at that point, maybe he's better. Honestly, you could even run um, Black Swan in that scenario because of her skill. Uh, reducing the enemy's defense by another twenty percent. I mean, I know at that point you're running two nihility, you don't need to, but might as well. You don't, you just don't need a sustain. Like, in fact, I'm gonna run it. I'll just run it. I'm just gonna run that 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 one side real quick. Uh, Mitai, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Movement Shaker. So we're having a good day. I am currently in the middle of doing an account review, so no. Let's play for enemy data secured. Netmark. This is not uh, uh It's not my account. If I wouldn't be showing you my character stats, I'd be just, just showing you the account stats, so which is fine, but I'm in the middle of doing something. I weep for the department. Alright. Like here's the thing, even though the dinosaur doesn't take any damage while well, it's not broken, it's this is still crazy. Right. Uh. Yeah. Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Another journey. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So when I'm when I'm back on my account, I can show you my stats. But these stats, these stats, these stats right here on this account, these stats are insane. Ninety-one crit rate, five hundred forty-five crit damage, with all the buffs. This is absolutely fucking crazy. Oh, hell gonna die? Nobody died. Wow. You get a defense shred. Do this. Make sure we get that last debuff on there. 
More defense shred. But I want to do sparkles. I'm not going to die before it even does all the damage. I weep for the Doesn't department. matter. Wow, one cut. A thousand cuts. Three thousand cuts. 1.8. Absolutely crazy. Just. <laughs> Thanks, Battle Return for Battle. Absolutely insane! Question now. Why did you wail so hard? What. What. What was the thought process behind being like, I'm going to get E6 Acheron, I'm going to get E6 Jing Liu, but like, I'm not going to get E6 Dill, um, but I am going to get like E2 and E3 here, and I am going to go E6 Sparkle. Like, what is your, what is your general thought process on uh, why you've done what you've done with your, uh, with your account? All worlds have been cleared. My golden gears. I assume you've cleared all of Swarm and Golden Gear. Yeah. Almost completely finished with that. And then you are finished with this as well. Cool. Afterward, afterward all the other DPS didn't seem as good at E0. Aha, uh -huh. so you were like, ah, oh, I have E6 Sela, and she feels really good. These other DPS kind of feel not as good because they're not E6. That's, that's an interesting, what is her E6? Interesting. Cares like Jing Liu because I love their character design. Okay. That makes sense. No, that, that does make sense. I am gonna quickly when I say quickly, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do you've already completed twelve? Good, awesome, fantastic. I wanna see what this looks like. I wanna see I would love to see I don't need this. Uh, oh, no, no. Let's get rid of. Propagation and. Preservation, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go with Adventuring, Acheron, this, and. Honestly, I know that Pella has that, but I am gonna grab your defunct Silver Wolf and go from there. Because most of the in game enemies all have Quantum and Imaginary, so it'll, she'll always roll Lightning. And then. Combat Extrapolation is my favorite extrapolation. I don't know what you have in here. I'm not gonna change any of your dice, I'm just gonna roll. Let's 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 test this. I want to see. Let's let's review this account by testing. Increase the price of shop item transaction. That's fine. I'm going to just on the venture domain. Increase the domain. You know what? Let's go with that instead because I don't really care about venture domains. What I'm gonna do is look like do as much bullshit as possible. Oh, perfect. Green four. Ah, uh, the best part about Acheron. <laughs> All right. Um, do this another follow-up attack stuff because that would actually be pretty good. Ooh, we're right at the back. We need efficiency. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll grab the some of the hunt stuff. Is the space cheese a, re a relic, a wasted slot if all your characters are E6? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it would be. Funnily enough. I am going to see how 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 difficult this gets if I just run down the uh, the clock, so to speak. Trickier to crack. Time for a bug. Like 
how cracked is this team all the way through? Right? How easy is this? Cause remember how much I struggled to get through this with my E2 dill? You know what I'm saying, guys? Just will. So like commonly divinity like the word, right? With not a lot of buffs, to be fair. True. That works. More skill point regeneration is good. Akron making making life so much easier, always. That's going to give her 100% crit rate when all of her stuff is procced. That's good. Storms on the horizon. Trickier to crack. Your silver was built like my silver too. I always, I often I would recommend this. Um, 100% agree with Sparkles like Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Why didn't she have 100% earlier then? Why was she only at 91%? To to. Let's finish that's this. weird. That is very strange. Hold on a second. Oh, my camera. My camera's being... 18% doesn't show up. Oh. Interesting. From E1. Huh. Interesting. Okay. It doesn't show up even on, even in-game. That's strange. They need to fix that in my opinion. I weep for the departed. And boom. And boom. And boom. And dead. Yeah, this is probably the team that I would run. Um, honestly. Uh, this is probably the team I would run with her. Because even though Pella... So here's the thing. So here, here's, the kill, here's, the killer, here's the really killer part, right? Even though Pella does like the AOE defense down, she has the debuff from that, the debuff from her skill, and the debuff from everything along those lines. But Silver Wolf brings a little bit more um, in like a single target situation, right? Especially with the added element. So I probably would run this more often. Because you just don't care about the AOE stuff. They're going to die anyways. It's the bosses that you need to make sure you get down. And you need to make sure the element is on the target as well. Hmm. I mean, your Silver Wolf is geared. Gain four random carriers, which may contain negative ones. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go for it. Uh, nope. That sucks. All right. Well, that was two negatives. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. We just we just go with it. We roll. We ball. We ball. We ball. Go to this transaction domain. Let's see if we can get something. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Looking good. Looking good. Sure. I'll reduce the prices. Grab that too. Why not? Just grab shit. Grab shit and go. Grab shit and go. Welcome back to the stream, Nana. I'm grabbing these follow-up attack ones in the hopes that we will get the one that turns ultimates into follow-up attacks and just completely destroy everything. That'd be nice. Oh, crit rate becomes crit damage. Hell yeah. Take that. How 
bad could this go? Nice. And the curio finally broke. Okay, cool. Just in case we get into a battle. <laughs> Sure, we already lost all our HP, so it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Are we going to die immediately on this? Uh, wind weakness, imaginary weakness. Let's go this oh, dang, their HP. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine, we have adventuring shields. It's all good. Trickier to crack. Time for a bug. <laughs> it's fine, we have adventuring shields, then we have this. Let's play. And this and this. We don't we don't need health if everything's just dead. Doesn't Pella get her ult a lot quicker? No, actually. Especially with the build that he's running with Von Wack. No. That is not that is not the case. Let's get that shield real big. Oh, she got two turns. Okay, I didn't know. Cool. No, um, uh, Silver Wolf, especially with the light cone that he has on her and the relics that he has, and she gets her, she gets her ultimate back, like, real fast. Uh, what do we got here? Let's get more blessings. See, easy. Super easy, guys. I don't know what you're worried about. I was I wasn't worried. Hurts channel one character who attack my enemies by fighter. That's fine. That's really what I do. There's healing back and another curio destroyed. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna grab Ron May. Just in case. Uh, just in case we get a Ron May thing so I can get all the bonuses. One curio. That's good. That'll keep us alive. Just in case. It's funny because I'm pretty sure I picked the erudition path, but I keep <laughs> I keep selecting things that are not erudition. Especially now that we have the follow-up attack on ultimates effect. Ready when you cool. are. Ooh, we have none of these. That's unfortunate. That's okay. It's fine, guys. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I ain't worried at all. <laughs> I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. Whoa! She just got one shot from like max HP. Doesn't she have like 5k HP? What the fuck? She was wounded? Yeah, she had taken a small hit earlier, but she was at full HP. What are you talking about? There's no way. I'll have to check the tape on that one. I'll put an annotation in the video. But holy crap. Why did I... Well, I just piloted this team very wrong, not paying attention. So distracted by shit. I'll just take the death. That was That was weird. Okay, that was my B. That was my B. That was my B. Anyways, that's, 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 I'm not going to try to do it again. It's fine. It's whatever. Oh. Okay. 
Apparently, uh, I suck at piloting anything in this game. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, actually, I am going to do it again because there's really nothing else to look at. So, I'm going to do it again. Could have told with no defense blessings. True. 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 Irritation again. Obligation and preservation gone. That's fine. Actually, because I have him, not preservation, not abundance is what I don't want. That's what I don't want because I'm using him anyways. That makes more sense. Let's go with that. Try this again. One more time. I'll give it one more shot. I'll give it one more shot. I just got distracted by her dying so fast. I didn't even hit like Acheron's ult or anything along those lines while waiting. So. Perfect showcase. Yes, it is a perfect showcase that wailing isn't everything. In SU, you do have to pay attention. So. Still need to make proper decisions. You can't just willy-nilly through the game, okay? Keep that in mind. That's useless. Absolutely, absolutely fucking useless. Dream four. Obviously, I would take dissociation. That makes sense. That's so much better. More fragments. Thank you. Still need to make proper decisions indeed. Well, I've learned my lesson, guys. Don't wail, because it still won't win the game for you. <laughs> You've still got to think. No matter how much you wail at this game, you still have to think. You still have to think. Still need to make proper decisions. Still have to know how to play the game. So if you're like me and you don't know how to play the game, uh, don't wail, because it's not going to help you. <laughs> okay? Don't wail, because it's not going to help you. Just hire someone to think for you. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a, yeah, if you're a whale, instead of buying stuff in the game, just hire so <laughs> hire someone to think for you. Yes. That's, uh, that's a good idea. I like it. Ready when you are. 100% great. A good idea. This combat needs optimized. <laughs> this is double speed. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Trickier time for a buzz. <laughs> Let's play. Can you find the answer? <laughs> I weep I for the <laughs> Forgot her ultimate. I forgot Sparkle was also E6. So her ultimate would just add the buff. That's perfect. Also perfect. Screen four. Ah, it does work on Swarm. Didn't know that. Reminds me of Corrosion Level 20 achievement, did it on World 2 instead of 1 in Swarm Disaster, and went well into... I got to the Swarm boss at the end, and I just didn't do damage, and got wiped at 30% of my life. Damn. Ooh, that's good. Removing Dissociation to deal damage. Why did I just attack him normally? That was dumb. Oh, whatever. Honestly, there's no reason not to use the ultimate. I don't know why I'm not. 
because it doesn't her ultimate doesn't last for the Casual 1.3 million. Overkilling everything. Welcome back. Uh, you missed it now. At, right after you said I'll be right back, I got into a fight with an elite unit. Sparkle got one shot, and then the entire party got one shot. Shows to show that uh, if you're not paying attention, and... Uh, you kind of just assume that because whale, you'll just beat everything. Uh, doesn't work out that way. So we learned a lesson today. Just because you whale guys does not mean that uh, you don't have to think. Dream forth, gleam of old it just means you have to think slightly less. All right, Goonzuke. Catch you later. Let's see here. That's fine. Storms on the horizon. Watch this. Feeling lucky. This combat me. <laughs> this is double speed. Trickier to time for a bug. <laughs> Feeling spiffy? Another team still waters of oblivion. Hold now cast. I weep for the department. All right, here we go. Boom. 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 3.2 million damage. Hell yeah, we take those. We take those. Go ahead and download Ron May, just in case we run into a Ron May. We will enhance two random blessings, which is pretty good. Cool. Combat early domain, I'll gain a beacon. Cool. Let's go here. Weakness break delays enemy action. That's actually really good. Ready when you are. Start out with this, so you get a debuff immediately. Debuff immediately. Debuff immediately. Another ult on him. Debuff. Ultimates. Have you broken yet? This should be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Will she be able to cut through it all? Now they should all die. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Irresistible victory. Press button. That was pretty good. That was that was that was good timing with that uh that glue. Mm, Association damage. Maybe we'll go up to the transaction. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens on Conundrum 12. 
nothing can go wrong, right guys? If I fail again, I'm gonna stop, because there's no reason to keep trying if I'm just gonna keep failing. Uh, actually, yes, I'm gonna grab that. So I can reset both things in the Cool. Sure. Cool. Oh, the bigger the risk, the better the reward. One hundred percent quick. This. Trickier to crack. Time for a bug. Debo. Add lightning weakness. Not that it matters. Again, now I think about it. Actually, it doesn't matter adding lightning weakness because she. I forgot her E six means she breaks everything anyway. So Pella probably would be better. God oh, damn. Got to adjust my brain for E6. What is this? I weep for the departed. It takes off. Dead? Almost. Okay, she got some. I weep for the departed. It takes off. It's the casual 3.5 million damage and we haven't even got to the end yet i do want a five star version of pella aoe defense down yeah we'll get it eventually no doubt It is going. That's how it goes. This is how it goes. We are still in the middle of the account review. I'm just testing, testing his characters in uh, what we call it because it's uh, kind of fun. So. Feeling lucky. <laughs> testing his characters in Golden Gears because it's kind of fun. Come on, Yep, it's fun. Yes, crit rate over 100 percent will be crit damage. And this goes to an elite again. The risk, the better. Dream four. Gleamable. This is where it ends. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I weep for the departed. Your Ron May is what? E2? E1? It too shall fall. Still waters of oblivion. He won. This combat. This is double speed. Because of the way that E6 Akron works, Ron may actually might be better than Pella and uh Another journey call it. I weep for the departure. Those weakness breaks. It too shall fall. I'll try. If I get a chance to. Um, sure. We're still need, oh yeah, you still need an Ahelity character. That's true. That's true. But what if we just had no defensive character at all? We just... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It would work in MOC. It would not work in here. I am. I am. I am aware. Watch this. Mm. 
Maybe with welts? Ooh. 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 That's an idea. That's an idea. It's true. Welt sustain would probably work with that quite well. Hmm. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with grease. Now we're cooking with some grease. I need to grab welts if possible before the end. Yeah, fuck it. We'll fight him. Why not? In fact, how does her ultimate interact with his swords? Does she just immediately break them all? Since she doesn't care about weakness? Kills all? Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, I never thought about that before. Never thought about that. That's disgusting. In like the best way. I didn't even think about that. That's insane. He's so fast that despite the fact that she had the action advance for it, he still went before her. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Fucking easy mode. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Come get me. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the depart. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take It's just it unfair. Yan, Yan King just cannot win. I weep for the departed. Literally just cannot win. He never wins. His life is just suffering. Wow. I literally could not get any of the, uh, what you call it? that's unfortunate. Transaction domain. What do you got for me, buddy? Do you have the blessing? No. So quick damage would be funny as hell. More speed would be good too. I want to upgrade some stuff at the end, so let's go. So I'm going to make a copy of this like two random locations. The knowledge effect. Ooh. Confirm. <laughs> Why would I do that, you ask? You'll see. Ready when you are. Feeling lucky. One hundred percent right. <laughs> Trickier to crack. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. Just disgusting. Ooh. Ooh. 
Hell yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'll take it. Absolutely disgusting. Give it to me now. It's more cosmic fragments. Downloader. Let's grab. Oh, we already grabbed Ronme. Um, let's grab Pella. Sounds good. More ultimate damage. Take the HP restore because I'm going to try to do this without a sustain. So I'll go with this one. Cool. That's not what I wanted, but whatever. Sure. <laughs> I'm just going to try and see if I can get another discarded carryo and. Uh, Gain some fragments. All right. Grab another character. Um, only healer you have is Locho, so if we, for some reason I feel like I need a healer, I'm going to go for it. Pretty sure I did it all this already. Oh, cool. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. I'll play the debate. Awesome. Here we go. We only we only got one um bad thing um swarm swarm has more HP I want to see the, I want to see the damage ready when you are With that in mind um it doesn't really matter so let's go ahead and we will use Pella. For this, because she has more defense down total right now, so we'll go with that. Watch this. Scamble that again. Scamble that again. Damn. No rolls. Fine. Whatever. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Do we still Fingers crossed. Now nah, we got this. I believe. I believe, because I weep for the departed. Free will, or was it? I weep for the departed. For we weep for the departed. This whole account weeps for the departed. For oblivion. That's half the work. Still waters of oblivion. You guys watching me right now? Ready for another? I'll go easy this time. Sure, I'll play along. Can you find the answer? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I weep for the departed. Let's play. I didn't see can you find the answer. I actually didn't need to pop Pell's ult again. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. 
I weep for the departed. This is just the ultimate spam at this point. It too shall fall. This is disgusting. This is so disgusting. Oh, it's so disgusting. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. I hit the mark. I weep for the departed. Guys. Guys, it's over. It's so over. Six, seven million damage. Seven million damage. Seven million damage. I weep and we're not even done. Spend freely. Another to your destiny for oblivion. Already half dead when he hasn't even summoned his dude yet. This is crazy. Wow, she almost died straight out to that. That's not good. Here we go. How much damage will we do? Find out now. Oh, it wasn't even that much. That was not the highest hit we've had. And we're just going to kill it now. Pretty sure. Nope. Everything dead. Wow. Oh my god, she... She... <laughs> She didn't die. Destiny for oblivion. Enemy data secure. We got this right here. Don't die. No, he died. Man. <laughs> okay. What a whale. Characters don't even die, yeah. Literally his Acheron has less than 3k HP and still doesn't die. Still doesn't die. Adventuring too strong. What a run. What a run. So the highest we saw was about roughly almost 7 million. I probably could have done more. That's crazy. That's... That's crazy. Alright. That's that's crazy. Is there anything else I need to look at on this account? Because you obviously don't need help with builds or anything along those lines. I think we have showcased just how cracked this account is. Uh... Yeah, I like Bronya for that. She would have just dispelled. True, Bronya does have that the advantage that she does dispel where Sparkle does not. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Stell's very blank stare. That's how I feel about this account. Just wow. <laughs> Try out serve all in MOC. It's true. There was there was the serve all in the MOC. You know what? Serve all supremacy. I will. I will I will do I will do a run. I will do one one last run with with Serval Supremacy in here. And uh this is probably the proper side. This side, this side. Which side? Which side do you want to do it on? Let's see. I think this is probably do that side for her. just replace her over Akron. First I'd imagine. Okay. Where are you at, Serval? Any particular team, or is this good? Is there? Should I change this? I feel like these are her best. These are like the big, gonna give her the gigest of damage, other than defense down, I guess, which would be Pella in that scenario, or Silver Wolf, one of the two. Adventuring for who? Yeah, I guess. Oops. I mean, Fu gives her more crit rate, though. Adventuring doesn't really give any stat other than more crit damage. Plus, your Fu is. Yeah, your Fu is also E2, which, frankly, makes her. Better than adventuring in almost every scenario. Yeah, 
Because 15% more damage is on crit damage is nothing compared to 30% crit damage and 12% crit rate. Right? Yeah. I know he gives, what, an additional 10% damage from his light cone? And there is part of the shield. That also gives crit damage, too. That's 40 crit damage. That's true. He has his light cone. I forgot about that. Light cone also provides 40 crit damage. Hmm... She provides 30, but then also the crit rate, which guarantees more crits. Oops, out of Serval. Serval only has how much crit rate? 63, so 12% from... 14%. How about 14% from Sparkle. Uh, puts her at uh, 77, then plus the 12% from her. So that would be 87... 89 crit rate, which is better, and then she'll get all the crit damage bonuses and the weaknesses we see from this. You know what? I'm gonna go with that. Let's give it a shot. Because basically it's a difference of 10% crit damage or 12% uh, crit rate, and I think 12% crit rate is more valuable than 10% crit damage. Right? Because with your Fu being E2, she gives 30% crit damage. With having the Light Cone for Aventry, he gives 40% crit damage. But Fu also gives 12% crit rate. So, and in that scenario, I think she wins out in terms of supportability. And this this side doesn't really have as many like crowd control effects, so I think it'll also be fine. And then you run Run Mate because breaks and weakness efficiency and all of those stuff. And then obviously you run her for this one. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it! Okay, not bad. Should we take those? Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Enjoy yourself a quick divination. Let's can you find the answer. Cypher, and all the extra damage that comes with. Damn it. Get that fucking ice shit. Enjoying yourself? You want to me? There it is. Keep up. All things in this world have their human creations. Yin <laughs> and yang. Grace and mm -hmm, elegance. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice. Let's play for a while. Don't mm. Turn it up. Break. Can't Ready to lose yourself. Damn it. it. Servo supremacy. Fresh buff. Some fresh buff. Every petal and will be swept away by the wind. Shows us the defense down, that helps. What set are you running on, Serval? The debuff set? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. No, that makes sense. Let's play. Can you find the answer? She restores five skill points, yep. Alright, that's okay, not bad. Let's play for a while. Don't move. Focus on Turn it up. Take this break in this dude. Enjoying yourself. T Rex go burr. T Rex go burr. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. I see through you. I'll go easy. God, having a E6 Sparkle who generates like all the fucking skill points and everything like that is insane. Like having a, a cap of eight skill points is crazy. It's absolutely nuts. So all of Sparkle's buffs up. Ron May's buffs up, Bushwan's buffs up. What are we sitting at? 93 crit rate, which is good. 573 crit damage. So much crit damage. Oh my god. 
That's absolutely crazy. Honestly, we need like an attack buff in here. Honestly, I think Serval needs an attack buff in here. You know what? Huahua would probably actually be a better support for her if you had her because it would help her regenerate energy and give her some attack. Like that's like some giga, like you're you're trying to push the character to his max. That's what Huahua is for, is basically pushing a, a hyper carry to their max. No. Dream Driver is giving 216% crit damage. That's actually so fucking crazy. Because she would give it, she would give, because like you're getting so much crit rate and crit damage already and then weakness break and then damage percent from all these other resources that you need like an attack buff in here. So either running a, um, an attack buffer for trying to like, for instead of even a defense character might be possible, but I just don't think Serval like does that much damage that she could actually sustain that. Like I don't think a team would survive through the damage. Uh, I don't think Serval would pump out enough damage for the team to survive through whatever damage did come out basically. Every petal all will be swept away. If that makes sense. Unburg and awaken. You almost hit me. Keep up. And here comes the ults. You can fight it. Or oh, rock with this. Bam. Not bad. A three cycle or two cycle for for a serve all, you know, team pumped up by some some C6 or E6 five stars, E2 five star, and E1 five star, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But also, I would like to point out that if that's how you were playing, if that's how you, like for you, the viewer, if that's how you were playing the game, that's two cycles, right? You can probably get that same, that same goal with like no, like you can easily get the same amount of cycles with no Eidolons whatsoever, right? So, it's... For anybody out there who's like, I'm poor and I can't afford E6s, don't worry, you don't need to afford E6s, right? Like, now has the money to spend, or or he's delusional and has the money to spend, one of the two. It's not my place to judge, right? Um, and that's fine like this is really cool to see it's really awesome and honestly in my opinion star world deserves it because it's a fucking great game so it's like whatever um but for those of you out there who will see this and be like oh man i don't have e6 i don't have don't worry about it it's fine you don't need it you don't need it this is all vanity and that's okay it's like collection it's like collecting any kind of hobby for any kind of hobby right so looks good looks good and i think with that we're gonna call the account review there I think that is a good place to stop for this account review. Thank you very much, Chairman Now, for letting me get on your account and experience the power of E6 Acheron. And um, I, I obviously don't think you needed any advice on anything. You know what you're doing with your characters. So, um, yeah. And for those of you watching at YouTube, I want you to remember that if you like this type of content, please leave a like and a subscribe and maybe consider leaving a comment what you think about the account do you have you e6 any characters are you going to e6 any characters i know i'm gonna e6 my kafka she's e4 already so yeah uh, with that in mind that's gonna be it for this video and i will see you guys next time later